Hello and welcome to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Well, it's here. Star Wars Episode 9 is called The Rise of Skywalker. The trailer was shown. I'd, I did have goosebumps towards the end. And uh, to be honest with you, I was welling up a little bit. I think that's because of the music though. And there's a lot to process about what the trailer was. It showed th uh, quite a few things, but it didn't show anything, if that makes any sense. Obviously, this is a perfect teaser trailer. Obviously, it just shows Rey in the desert somewhere, which it does look like Jakku, which it probably will be, or it could even be on Tatooine. They've gone back to the homeland where it all started. But you got Rey with her now-fixed lightsaber, so obviously that's all fixed, and she picked them all up at the end of The Last Jedi. And obviously then it shows her running away from, I assume it's Kylo Ren, in his own version of his own TIE fighter. And then obviously she does some kind of spinny flip. And if she cuts or slices any of that TIE fighter off, then I'm just going to be like, oh, come on, you know. No. But, you know, obviously the music wells up then, and you know, it goes, obviously, you know, every generation has a legend, and it goes from there. Obviously, it then went to, uh, it showed Lando Clarice, and he's back, the baby boy is back, yes, and he's still looking suave and sophisticated as always. And, obviously, it showed a few quick shots, it obviously showed Finn, it showed... Poe and a couple of other people, obviously Chewie, C-3PO, R2-D2, uh, the new one, can't remember his name, they did say what his name was in the actual uh, live uh, feed from Chicago, and obviously you had BB-8 and a few other things going on. But the kicker of it all, obviously you had Mark Hamill doing a voiceover, and obviously you saw Leia with Ray hugging her and Ray, and, uh, Ray crying, had a couple of tears coming out from her eyes. But the one for me that made me go, holy shit, what's going to happen, is at the very end, you see Poe, Finn, Rey, Chewie, C-3PO, uh, you know, and you just see them all there, and they're looking at the remains of the Death Star, which I was just like, holy shit, and over that last part... You had Emperor Palpatine laughing. I was just like I had goosebumps. I was I was genuinely excited for that part now because I'm like holy shit, are they bringing him? You know he's back, you. Know? And again, people may say, oh, you, you know, I was just done for or whatever. But at the very end, in the Chicago live feed, when the lights went up, he was there. Ian McDermott was there. You know, he was there on stage and in his Palpatine voice, he said, roll it again. Oh, my God. I, just, I had goosebumps, man. I was just, I could not believe what was happening. I was just like, holy hell, this is, this is amazing. It's, I'm just so happy he's back there. And for you, for a 74-year-old to be back in that role, it's Oh, again, people say, well, he died at the end of episode 6 in Return of the Jedi. Did he? We didn't see him die. It's, and, oh my, I'm, I just cannot wait now. Literally, you know, I'm not too stoked on the title, The Rise of Skywalker. It, it seems a bit meh, that does, to be honest with you. But, to be honest with you, I am excited for this film now. I will go and watch it. I'm not expecting much, I will give that there. But I have faith in J.G. Abrams. And he even said during the panel himself, the only good thing Rian Johnson done with The Last Jedi was cast uh, Ellie Marie. Is it Ellie Marie Tran or Marie Tran? I can't, sorry if I'm getting the name wrong. But the one who played um, Rose. And to be honest with you, I'm happy with that. So I hope he's done it justice. And maybe, just maybe... This film will be good. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. 
hit the notification bell for future updates, and we'll see you soon.